This is National Police Week. All over the country, police departments are remembering officers killed in the line of duty. Today, Nashville's Fraternal Order of Police hosted a ceremony. Our Mark Bellinger was there, and he's live for us tonight outside the Criminal Justice Center. Mark, I know you talked with the daughter and granddaughter of one officer, right? That's right, Officer Paul Scurry. And if you remember, about 20 years ago, Officer Scurry went into an attic trying to arrest a man. It was May of 1996. Officer Paul Scurry. Every year, some member of fallen Metro Police Officer Paul Scurry's family attends the FOP Memorial. This year, Scurry's granddaughter also was there. She had the honor of placing a yellow rose next to her grandfather's picture. It's still hard just because I didn't get to know him like everybody else did. And so just being able to remember him is what's important. She never got to meet him, so this kind of lets her carry on that, you know, his legacy and, and what he did for the city and his memory as well. Scurry was shot and killed almost 20 years ago. He was trying to arrest a man who was hiding in an attic. Trooper John Mann. Retired officer Claude Mann joined his brother Clifford to lay a rose at the photo of their brother John, who was a state trooper and died 14 years ago. I remember the night that uh, uh, Officer James Duke, the chaplain, came to my house to find me and tell my brother was, uh, had been killed. Man, it was uh, one of the things I thought I would never get over. But you know, it's like going, you pray about it and uh, let the Lord guide you, and that's what I've done. The Scurry family understands how time heals, but you never forget. It's a loss she'll always have. So, so yes, yeah, seeing those families, you know what they're feeling at the moment, but you know what they're going to feel, you know, almost 20 years later, too. It's been a long time. The Madison Precinct and the Crime Lab are named after Officer Scurry. Reporting live from the Criminal Justice Center in downtown Nashville, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.